Hi and good morning. So I am going to demonstrate how to generate unique identifier. So basically, in JMeter, we we can use the random generator. Uh, so how to add add a random generator? If you go to a config element, so here we have a random variable. So by using this, we can generate a random variables. And similarly, if you want to generate a 128 bit integer at 16 bytes, so which is used which we used. Uh, usually to generate unique identif identifier is nothing but uh, we we can use we can call it as a GUID. So how to generate that? So we have UUID. So uh, go to add. From here we have a preprocessor. From the preprocessor, add this user parameter. So once you add this user parameter, so here we have name and uh, it's a key and va uh, value. So use this, you can put any variable. So whatever you want as per your naming convention, as per your standards. So I want, uh, so for myself, I name it as a GUID. You can put any, any, any variable here. And this is the function in the JMeter provides this function. If you use this function, this will all, every time, this will generate a new GUID. It's a 16 bit, uh, uh, 16 bytes and 128 bit integer. So here we have one checkbox update once Per iteration. If you check this, it will every time it will give you a, uh, a fresh GUID, a new uh, GUID, so we can avoid the duplicates. So the advantage, uh, the advantage of this is like in a post request, you know, uh, sometimes we have a GUID uh, value. So we, uh, if you put the GUID hard coded every time your post request will fail. So you need to delete that GUID and again you have to regenerate. So to avoid this, uh, to avoid that, you can use this user parameter and UID function so that it will always give you a fresh GUID, so new GUID. So by using this, we can uh, you can use it in our post request or put requests. That is all about this user parameters and UID function in JMeter. And let me uh, clear this and let me execute this. So if you see here, so I'm printing into the console, so you can see, uh, uh, so GUID and this is the uh, GUID value. And similarly, if I, rerun this, again, you will get a new GUID. So that the same same variable, we can pass into wherever we require like post or put request, we can pass this GUID uh, variable. That's it. Thank you very much.